Hey everyone, Crouchy Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So, normally, I will show you footage of my tarantulas and my centipedes, scorpion, creepy crawlies, all that kind of thing, which is all great. I know you guys are here because you want to see creepy crawlies and sort of my interactions with them and, and whatnot. But a lot of you also have an interest in reptiles, and I do also have some. Now I do obviously have, uh, I have a bearded dragon, two leopard geckos and a snake. So not a huge collection of reptiles, but it's still a small collection and I thoroughly enjoy owning all of them. Now, there won't be any footage of the snake in this video. This video is purely to focus on my lizards. So as I said, I have three lizards. I have one bearded dragon, which is Ramsey, which is the first reptile that we'll see. I also have um, my leopard gecko female called Autumn. And then, of course, my favourite animal in my collection, out of everything, including all of my tarantulas and whatnot, is, of course, Geeks, my leopard geckos. So I figured it'd be pretty cool to show these to you. Now, I've done a few videos of my bearded dragon in the past, so I've had her out when I've been doing videos, and a lot of you really seem to like her, which is awesome. I, the two geckos that I have, I don't tend to do very many videos of. The female, Autumn, uh, I don't think I've had her in a video on this channel for several years. The reason for that is because she's shy. When she does come out, she uh, bolts. Uh, if I do try and handle her or get her out, she is very happy to bite. She, um, I don't believe she was cared for correctly. I will explain about her in a little bit later on in the video. But um, yeah, she's just not really one for sort of coming out. The third gecko is Gex. Now I've had Gex for 18 years, which I will tell you in the video later on again. But uh, he was my first exotic animal. He is my favorite. And I wanted this video because I'd like to get some footage of him and sort of just show him to you. Um, and to give you guys the opportunity, if you would like me to do more reptile videos or anything to do with them, to uh, shout and uh, let me know. Because a lot of you see my, my inverts and so you request more in her videos but a lot of you aren't aware that I do also have these awesome animals as well so I figured if I do a video on them it might sort of uh, get the spark going and get more reptile videos as well as not to take over but just every now and again to show you um, show you them so uh, yeah I'm gonna be sort of getting them out I'd like to just say the reason I get put them all in the shower um, they seem to enjoy sort of running around and it's good for the skin and while they're doing that, uh, while they're being watched in there, they are not left alone. I can get on with the uh, tanks and get all the tanks cleaned out. I empty them out, I disinfect all the tanks, and then I put the new bedding in, which you, um, I don't really show that, but uh, that is the whole process. So enough talking, let's get straight into the video.
Okay then everyone, so I thought I'd do a video to show you uh, this particular leopard gecko. Now, this is the one that I had as a um, kind of like a rescue given to me one uh, many years ago, I can't remember how many. And I want to show you this because I don't want people to say to me that I've been keeping this particular one incorrectly and that's why it's the way that it is. It's nothing to do with my care, um, it's just, she's been like that since I've had her and she doesn't seem to molt out of it, which is uh, a real shame. So can see her here I'm just gonna bring her a little bit closer to the camera so you can hopefully see her she's actually being really really uh, calm today which is unusual usually uh, she will uh, she will normally try and bite which is uh, a shame because she's, she's a lovely thing the problem with this one which I'll show you in just a second is um, on her legs the claws have not um, too bad molts they're kind of like uh, not in the best condition, shall we say. And they have been like that since since I had her all those years ago. Um, some of them are sort of just long claws, a um, bit of skin that isn't molting, and I'm, I'm continually trying to sort of uh, fix that, which is why I've, um, I'm using the Eco Earth is to try and raise the humidity as much as I can for this particular uh, gecko. In a minute you'll see my other one. Uh, Gex. I've had him for 18 years now and you can see there's nothing wrong with him with how I've been keeping him. He's healthy and everything. And I've been keeping these exactly the same. These sort of, uh, I don't want to use the word defects but I'm going to use that word. Um, let's say the defects on this one are ones that she's had since I had her. She came to me like this and she's just never really improved. She doesn't eat all that much. Sometimes she'll eat, sometimes she'll go for a long time without eating. I've done research to try and find out if there's anything wrong with her, if it's a diet, maybe it's the wrong live food. Um, and I can't seem to find anything other than either she's just a fussy eater or, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. She does still have her original tail, so she isn't that stressed out, which is good. You can see she's just on the move and you can gonna try and go for it now <laughs> she can really shift when she wants to uh, yeah this is let's say um, this is the first time that I've actually handled her in many many years the reason for that is because she's very um, happy to bite I guess I apologize the lighting has gone very bright the Sun is right behind my bedroom window um, two seconds okay sorry about that uh, yeah, the sun was right behind my uh, my bedroom window. Not literally, because it didn't burn me. Um, yeah, it was just uh, setting behind me, and so uh, the light was coming through. But yeah, if I can get this to focus on her. There you go. You see, she's a beautiful girl. Maybe I can see the, her claws, or the lack of. They're very, very stumpy. And it's a real shame. So she's usually very bitey. Um, which is why I don't normally get her out. My other one is fantastic. This one's a bit more, well, yeah. Not one that I get out too often, to be fair, but she's been really, really good today, which is actually quite nice that she's in such a good mood. So I wanna put her into her enclosure. I've cleaned it out, I put some substrate in. I know a lot of people are already gonna, I'm prepared for the comment section already on using EcoWorth. Um, as I've been sort of, I've done research, I've been reading up, and people say use new newspapers or paper towels. I'm not a fan of that myself. I have done in the past. Uh, my other gecko is currently kept on sand. Never had a problem with him. So, uh, and I'm doing, the reason that she's got EcoWorth uh, is to hopefully keep the humidity up, which will hopefully help with the molting. That's what I'm hoping. Um, we shall see. So yeah, for those of you that are gonna sort of, uh, I guess, bash me in the comments, I am prepared. So uh, go for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get her in anyway and uh, continue with the, the third and final uh, lizard. So I will leave her in there for now and maybe in a future video I will give you an update on how she's doing um, as well as the other additions I'm doing that I'm featuring in this video. 
I kind of never want to so I'm just in the bathroom, I've just given him a quick bathe and uh, yeah, this is Gex, this is um, my oldest exotic animal I guess, um, they said in the previous clip, I've had him for 18 years, I had him from when he was just a tiny little hatchling I guess, from a local pet shop and uh, yeah, he's been in my care ever since, now you can see Hopefully you'll be able to see, um, I'll come a little bit closer, so you can see his, uh, his claws are all there, they're all decent length, there's no, uh, no missing limbs, he's got a sort of good weight, he's not overweight, he's not fat or anything like that, but he's a good weight, um, his tail is his original tail, it's never, uh, never came off. And he's, uh, he's about, give or take, about 10 inches, I think. I haven't measured him for quite a while. I don't really feel the need to with him. Uh, and I don't show him off as much as I should. Uh, the, the sad thing is that I, I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be living. And the reason for that is because he's showing some quite worrying signs, shall we say. And uh, very often you can find him just sort of pacing in a circle in his enclosure. He has trouble eating. He will eat. So sometimes he will eat and he's, he's great. Other times he is, uh, the food can be right in front of his, right in front of him and he still misses it when he, when he goes to get them. So I figured I'd do a video to show him to you. Um, guy is so gentle. Let me just get him to focus. Hey, how you doing buddy? Yeah, he is absolutely wonderful. He's my oldest living animal in my care. He was the first exotic pet that I had, as I said, I did have a hamster, I think. Most people when they're young have hamsters, uh, and I had him. And he is what started me off with exotics. So uh, yeah, he is. So he's borderline. See, he doesn't. He doesn't flinch. And this guy is known by all of my sort of my friends and family. Everyone who comes here. Anyone who's been to my house, if you are someone that is local to me or you, you're a friend of a friend and they say, oh, you know, come up and see Dan's animals, uh, then you will know this guy because he's like the first thing that I introduce to people pretty much. And he is absolutely wonderful. I'm just getting the drop bits off. You can see he just doesn't, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't flinch, he's just awesome so yeah this is um, I think it'd be nice to sort of do a video to show him off I could do a good talk on him um, and also I've got some footage to look back on, on of him because I don't know I'm not saying he's gonna go like in days or, or weeks and that but he's 18 um, so he's getting on quite a bit and I would uh, I definitely think it's good to Show him to you guys, I guess. He's awesome. Absolutely love this guy. So yeah, if you're new to my channel, or if you've been a subscriber for a long time, I would like you to meet Kex.
So I've just brought Gigs in from the bathroom and uh, Kim just pointed out something to me on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. If you just have a look up ahead. That's a cockroach. <laughs> and I have an idea of someone who might be quite hungry. So here it is. Uh, I love cockroaches. Absolutely adorable little insects. Um, something that loves them more than me is this guy. Oh god. <laughs> You have to admit that those are pretty adorable and if you do agree with me on that please let me know in the comments below to let me know what you think of them and of course don't forget to leave me a thumbs up it does really help also i am still running the promotion with future future just for a couple more weeks till the end of april which is uh this month so if you are interested in sort of trying some edible insects i personally eat them and i really enjoy them if you are interested in trying some for yourself, head on over to the website. There'll be a link in the uh, description of the video and an end screen annotation uh, to the eating insects playlist with all the information. If you head on over to there and use the code TRANSHLADAN20 at checkout, you can save yourself 20% off on orders over £15. So I uh, would really recommend doing that. I've done quite a few videos of me eating insects and I genuinely really, really like it. Of course, if you are interested in supporting me and my channel even more, there is a Patreon which does go a long way to helping me with my travels and equipment and things like that. So if you are happy to support me, uh, there'll be an annotation at the end of the video and also a link in the description. With that said, everyone, I'd like to thank you for your time and watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more videos. And of course, let me know what you think in the comments below. Feel free to check out my other videos. I have some awesome things. So thank you for watching everyone. Take care and it's goodbye from me. See you all soon in the next video.